Mr Speaker, I wish to start by paying tribute to SNP legend Winnie Ewan and Scotland men's national team former manager Craig Brown, who both so sadly passed in recent days, and to, to all Muslims who are celebrating Eid Mubarak. Mr Speaker, on Sunday the Prime Minister patronised the public when he told them that in the face of ever-increasing mortgage bills that they simply need to hold their nerve. What a nerve. So may I ask him, the near billionaire, when was the last time that he struggled to pay a bill? Yeah. Mr. Mr Speaker, it, it, the reason that mortgage rates are rising is because of inflation, Mr Speaker. That is the root cause, which is why it's absolutely the right policy to tackle halve inflation and reduce it back to target. Now, that does mean that we do have to make difficult decisions. It does mean we have to be patient while the impact of those decisions actually has an impact. But in the meantime, Mr Speaker, as I was explaining previously, we are taking practical steps to support mortgage holders across the United Kingdom, particularly through the SMI scheme and the new mortgage charter. Stephen Flynn. But Mr Speaker, that answer confirms what we already know, that this Prime Minister is out of touch yep. and the Tory party is soon to be out of time. And what the yeah. public really want is change. But in a week where the Conservative Party and indeed the Labour Party both refuse to accept proposals for public sector pay rises, whilst at the same time accepting the economic damage of Brexit. Yeah. Is it not the case that Westminster does not offer the people real change nor real hope for the future? Yeah. 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 Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, just, the Honourable Gentleman just exposes the key, complete economic illiteracy yeah. of the SNP's yeah. position. Yeah. The, the, the first, his first question, his first question talks, about the, uh, talks about the challenges posed on ordinary families by higher interest rates caused by higher inflation. What does his next question do? Support a policy that would increase government borrowing and make the situation worse. Mr Speaker, it just demonstrates completely candidly why the SNP's approach to economic management is simply not fit for anyone in the United Kingdom.